Since the start of 2021, thieves have broken into more than 3,000 cars across Atlanta. New tonight, one man is not putting up with it anymore. 11 Allies Paula Soro explains the Buckhead resident started a petition to get government officials on board to fight that particular crime. Went to go jump in my truck and go to work and saw glass on the ground. And I went, oh, today's the day. Brendan Ford's dash camera caught the moment a man broke into his vehicle. It's the second time this happens to him since he moved to Atlanta in 2017. A reason why he installed this camera in the first place. He like crawls through the window and then jumps in the driver's seat, and, like looks up at the camera like, oh shoot, you got me kind of a thing. But he still wore a mask, so we've got some leads on him, but we're not 100% sure who he is. He says the man didn't steal anything, but it cost him $300 to fix the damage. But he knows many people in the city. Since the pandemic started, um, nearly a dozen um, that I personally know. Who have lost thousands because of this. <laughs> That's why he started this online petition asking Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms and Governor Kemp to give Atlanta police funding to bring back bait cars and potentially find thieves. If people that are doing these crimes are concerned about potentially breaking into a vehicle that's owned by police, the threat of getting arrested and thrown in jail for it's a little higher and maybe they'll stop breaking into cars like mine and my friends and heck, maybe even yours someday. According to Atlanta police, there have been more than 3,400 reports of car break-ins so far this year. That's about a 25% increase from this time last year. What are they learning, really? They're thrown in jail, they get free room and board and some food for four months, hang out with their friends, and then go do it again. And that's frustrating that it's making an economic impact to myself, my business, and my friends as well. And We've reached out to Mayor Bottoms and Governor Kemp about this petition. Mayor Bottoms' office says they will look into it. We're still waiting to hear from Governor Kemp.